looking to make some healthier habits this holiday season, make sure to check out our Moving Through Midlife community over on Facebook as we are doing a Planksgiving event where we are doing daily plank workouts. We will be doing an advent for healthy, happy hips this holiday season, and then also have a sugar challenge, a two-week sugar challenge that you might be interested in. Happy holidays! It is always my goal to help you and your family move more. So every Thursday, I am dropping a movement snack into your ears to help you and your family move more. It is our movement snack of the week. And today I wanna talk to you about posture and anxiety. I happened to be on a call with someone the other day and she was asking me about anxiety and um, asked if I had any tips to provide in regards to that. And it made me realize that I actually do. And it has to do with our posture. So if you think of yourself, we as busy moms, how we tend to hold ourselves in life uh, when we're sitting around looking at our phone so if you look at your if you're looking down at your phone you're going to start to feel this forward rounding down right and you might feel like your ribs start to grip down and um, you're rounded in that mid back area your shoulders are coming forward and you're staring down at your phone okay so what is this creating when you're in this position think about what this is like if you think about a an animal out in the wild who is being like a predator is looking at them watching them what do they do they shrink down they try to get small And their eyes focus in on that one thing. What are you doing when you're looking at your phone? If you're looking at your phone, you will notice that you stop seeing what is in your periphery because your eyes are so focused on the phone. And then when you're in this rounded forward posture, it is as if you are trying to get small. You're trying to get smaller. So what does this do to your system? What is your body thinking is occurring? It's probably leaning you into a fight or flight response without you even know it, knowing it. And especially if something that you're seeing on screen is bothering you, is creating um, anger, disappointment, things like that, your whole system is thinking it needs to be in a fight or flight situation. It is not realizing the difference between you staring down that tiger or you just looking at your phone, okay? Because you've gone into this system of rounding down, protecting your body, protecting your core organs. That's what happens when we round down. We're protecting those core organs And um, we are focused on one specific thing. So it is imperative that we, if you deal with anxiety, that you need to start opening your body up, lengthening, taking deep breaths because your diaphragm gives your vagus nerve a massage when it is working correctly. It's um, massaging that vagus nerve. And then think if you have listened to uh, the podcast, going way back to episode 14 with Dr. Alyssa Runyon, she talks about helping families ease stress and anxiety. And she mentioned um, the vagus nerve, how it's the sympathetic and parasympathetic system. So if you want, definitely go back and listen to that to learn more about the vagus nerve. But your diaphragm... When you are breathing properly and it's moving in this um, position, it will massage that vagus nerve. So we need to 
work on opening up that chest, taking deep cleansing breaths and let those eyes, which I've mentioned before in a movement snack, let that, them look at something far off in the distance so that they can relax. So that is what I'm going to recommend for you today is maybe try not to get into that position often or if you are one who tends to look at your phone a lot, be aware because I always think that awareness is where we begin. If we don't know what we're doing and how it's affecting the body, then we can't change. So just by knowing now, what I've mentioned in regards to this position, maybe you can become more aware and maybe you um, hold that phone out in front of you instead of down to where you're rounding your body forward or maybe you take a few minutes to look around so that you're not so focused in on one area like your phone. So hopefully that uh, provides you with some information If you are feeling anxious, um, I would encourage you to reach out. I'd be happy to talk with you. Um, There are a lot of things that occur within our body that um, are affected and why we we may be dealing with anxiety. So um, this is just in regards to posture, but I can dive much deeper into breathing with you, breathing in anxiety, posture and anxiety, uh, nutrition and anxiety, and then your uh, workout routine and anxiety. So I'd be happy to speak with you more about that if you are interested. So just reach out to me. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day and make sure to get out and move more. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you could do me a favor, if you like what you hear, could you leave us a review or take a screenshot and share your favorite takeaway on social media? And make sure to tag us over at raising underscore healthy humans. Now go out and enjoy more movement throughout your day.